Do you or your loved ones have endometriosis? Endometriosis is a condition that affects millions of people worldwide, yet it remains widely misunderstood and often goes undiagnosed for years. Endometriosis In today's video, we'll break down what endometriosis is, how common it is, why it takes so long to diagnose, and some key signs and symptoms you should know. Let's get started. What you need to know about endometriosis We'll go through the basics of endometriosis, discuss its prevalence, explore the reasons behind delayed diagnosis, and highlight five major symptoms to watch for. By the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of this condition and resources to help you seek the right care. What is endometriosis? Endometriosis occurs when tissue similar to the lining of the uterus, called the endometrium, grows outside of the uterus. This tissue can be found on the ovaries, fallopian tubes, and other pelvic organs. In some cases, this tissue can be found elsewhere, unrelated to the pelvic region. Unlike normal uterine lining that sheds during menstruation, this misplaced tissue has no way to exit the body, causing inflammation, scarring, and severe pain over time. Just how common is endometriosis? Endometriosis affects approximately 10% of people assigned female at birth, or about 190 million individuals worldwide. Despite being common, it's often misunderstood and underdiagnosed. Why does endometriosis take so long to diagnose? On average, it takes 7 to 10 years for someone to receive a diagnosis. Why? Symptoms can be mistaken for other conditions like irritable bowel syndrome or pelvic inflammatory disease. Additionally, lack of awareness among both patients and healthcare providers contributes to delays. Many people are told their pain is normal or just bad periods, which can be incredibly frustrating. Here are the key signs and symptoms. Pain with periods. One of the most common symptoms is severe menstrual pain, often worse than typical cramps. This pain can start before the period and last several days. Pain with intercourse. Pain during or after sex is another key symptom. This can be due to inflammation and scar tissue formation in the pelvic area. Pain with bowel movements. If you experience pain during bowel movements, especially around your period, it could be a sign of endometriosis affecting the intestines or nearby organs. Pain surrounding the menstrual cycle. Endometriosis pain isn't just limited to your period. Many individuals report chronic pelvic pain that worsens at different points in their cycle. During the menstrual cycle, individuals may experience pain in areas where the endometrial tissue has spread. In some situations, these areas are unrelated to the reproductive system, one of the reasons why some women are often unjustly dismissed by their healthcare providers who do not understand this phenomenon. Infertility Endometriosis can lead to fertility challenges, making it harder to conceive. Studies suggest that up to 50% of those struggling with infertility may have endometriosis. Medical management. Current medical treatment options for endometriosis include hormonal therapies and pain management strategies based on scientific evidence. First-line hormonal treatments include combined oral contraceptives, cokes, and progestins, such as norethindrone acetate or medroxyprogesterone, which help suppress ovulation and reduce endometrial tissue growth. Gonadotropin-releasing hormone GnRH, agonists, for example, luprolide, and antagonists, for example, elagorlix, can further suppress estrogen production, reducing symptoms but often causing menopausal-like side effects. Aromatase inhibitors, such as letrozole, may be used in resistant cases to lower estrogen levels. 
non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, like ibuprofen are commonly prescribed for pain relief. In severe or refractory cases, surgical intervention, such as laparoscopic excision or ablation, may be necessary to remove endometrial lesions. In extreme cases, hysterectomy with or without oophorectomy is considered a last resort. Emerging treatments, including immunomodulators and neurogenic pain-targeting therapies, are under investigation to improve symptom management and disease progression. Some individuals with endometriosis, who wish to have a family, often benefit from assisted reproductive technology, hence it is key to discuss fertility issues with your health provider promptly. To summarize, endometriosis is a condition where tissue similar to the uterine lining grows outside the uterus, leading to pain, inflammation, and other health complications. It affects millions globally, yet remains difficult to diagnose due to symptom overlap with other conditions. Management includes dietary, exercise, medical and surgical management. For dietary management, please see my video on my YouTube channel. If you suspect you have endometriosis, talk to a healthcare provider. There are many support groups and online resources to help you navigate diagnosis and treatment options, do get in touch with me. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more health-related content. Together, we can spread awareness and ensure people get the care they deserve. See you in the next video. Please note that the content contained herein is provided for informational and or entertainment purposes only and not intended as a substitute for advice provided by a healthcare professional. Use the provided information at your own risk. If you have or suspect that you have a medical problem, please contact your healthcare provider.